back. Last time, I think we earned 20Q on Shogi Wars, and we're going to give it another go today and see how far we get. Uh, as always, we're playing 10-minute games. Uh, I'm tending to play Swinging Rook openings, and it's likely that you'll see me play Third File Rook, but no guarantees. I have been playing Central File Rook. Um, I tried to play Central File Rook in our most recent Teaching Ladder game, and my opponent played Fourth File, so then I played Third File instead. So that's kind of where I'm at. If my opponent plays fourth file, I play third file. Otherwise, I try to play central file. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. Good luck. Ooh, we go first. That is surprising already. Whatever. I don't understand. The, oh, okay. This is an interesting strategy. Um, I don't need to use my rook just yet. Because they haven't done anything interesting. Um, so... They've lined up their gold with their king. But I want my silver to fight off their silver. Wait, wait a second. Um, yeah, let's have some fun here. Let's throw some knives, let's play with fire, but also let's get the king out of here because we're the only player whose king can evacuate. Um, I've been wanting to exchange silvers here, so if my opponent is also wanting this... One of us is not wanting something sane here. Um, I wanted to do it because it looked fun. He probably has something um, more interesting in mind. But yeah, let's get the king running away. If he pushes again immediately, I'm going to retreat because his silver can't move anywhere. Okay, that's just silly. I'm sorry. Um... Why this extreme aggression? Have I wronged him somehow? Alright, let's see it. The silver scissor... Th well, no, okay. Silver rushes up and hits my bishop. So I'm forced to exchange here. Um... But... Um, yeah, now we get some fun tactics, where his king is exposed in the center, my rook is very excited to attack, um, I could force a bishop exchange, uh, but I'd rather have my knight active, even though it allows a silver drop that hits my knight and I'm forced to sack it, um, so, yep, here goes our rook. It's going to go chase down their knight. Um, might also chase down some other pieces. I don't know. Um, very strange. Very, very strange. So, here we go. Straight down the highway toward their king. Uh, we can even capture a piece with check. Alright. Um, check is overrated. Let's take this bishop. Okay. <laughs> Another tempo? Truly. What have I done to deserve this? Um, such generosity this season. So I could take right now 
Or I could do Knight takes Pawn. Knight takes Pawn threatens that some other tactics here. This is just so surprising. What is my opponent doing? I'm so perplexed by this. Um, all right, forward we go. Um, yeah, I'm not sensing a trap. I should be, but what could the trap even be here? I didn't quite put it that way. I have been a bit of a wordsmith here. So, yeah, what have I done to deserve this? It's not so much have I wronged him, but, like, He's rewarding me for something I've not done. I just don't understand. So we'll just try to enjoy this experience for what it is. His rook is blocked by his pawn. He's one tempo shy here. He would love to start attacking, but uh, alas, he cannot. So... Um, So immediately we pursue an attack. All right, he puts his rook in open space. You would hope that there would be a fork. There is not a fork. Um, I'm sorry, there is a fork. Here, let's play the fork. So if the rook abandons this file, then my knight can come over and attack from this direction. If he doesn't defend the lance, I can just take the lance. Um, I should just take the lance. It's completely free. We're taking it. Pursuing the king from this direction as well as from the other direction. The knight's hanging. Um, we've gotten off to a very strong start this game. Alright, so now okay. he threatens to advance the rook again. Sure would be a shame if something interrupted that plan of promoting the rook. Can't imagine what would do that. Um... All right, he sacrifices the rook. We'll take it. He sacrifices. He's threatening that he can take my rook if I'm careless. Let's be a little bit careful today. Um, and I think that'll des decide the game right there. Right. Oh, he does block my bishop. So well spotted in that regard. Also, I have am in time pressure, but um, I don't think that's going to decide the game. So this gold is the weak point of this castle. He moves it away. Uh, we attack anyhow. All right, he does this even though it's not check. Um, I 
I guess we'll take the lance. The bishop's hanging. Not quite trapped. The bishop can go... Oh, I'm sorry, the bishop's trapped also. Beyond just being hanging. Um, so... Yeah, truly the question is which piece to take. Um, all right, we'll just take the bishop. Why not? Is there a reward for capturing all of your opponent's pieces? Because if there's a trophy for that, like, now would be the time to get it. Um, but yeah, the reason... There's two reasons I did this this way. Um, one is I can't find a good move for him here. Um, the other is that I think this is the fastest way I can checkmate him. All right. So... Now he can no longer block from this side. So let's start taking pieces this way. check this is not check um something all right he forks my golds um We check from this direction to restrict his king. Let's check. My rook can defend itself. Oh, I missed mate in one. Um, no matter, but... Good game. Nice effort. Watching. Alright, let's play another game. Yeah, that was brutal. My rook activated itself very forcefully. Good luck. Alright, we have go to... oh. Already we have a bit of an exciting opening. Um, sure, let's play fourth file rook. They're playing my open or they're playing Ishida style against me. Um, so we will counter with third file after all. And because this is such a vulnerable shape, I need to play a, a castle that can resist this kind of attack. Uh, oh boy. I should have studied this. This is a good practical idea for him. This is why you normally play the fourth foul pawn. Um, interesting. Well, we're going to see how this plays out, and then we'll have to... St oh, really? My rook protects this. This is not how the line goes. Um, yeah, you're off by one tempo here. Unless I've horribly made a mistake. Um, could I have done such a thing? Maybe. Alright, let's see it. 
If we got a sacrifice planned, I would love to see it, because my rook guards the entire second rank here. I think he meant to do rook takes pawn first. But maybe this is intentional. Um... So strange. Okay, let's protect my rook. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's very sharp. Whatever this is, it's extremely sharp. But it does not look correct. So we're going to try to refute it. Um... What's the purpose of this? I don't understand. He's going to sack for the bishop and then do some silver drop over here somewhere. But I think I have everything covered. My rook is an excellent defensive piece. Um, my other rook is not an excellent offensive piece. But um, that, that makes this really awkward. So he threatens a bishop drop to check my king. He also threatens to take this pawn and then take my knight. I think that's the more immediate threat here. Um... And this is sharp too. Uh, so he will... Well, he could drop a bishop to hit my rook. But then the rook would just take the silver. The silver is trapped by my bishop. So he has to drop his bishop to give check. And it's just a question of whether the check is any good. Or uh, I intend to block with my silver here. Um, so I think I've forced an exchange of silvers, and I think I will be covering every square in my bottom two ranks. So hopefully any future combinations you can stir up I've already subdued. Um, yeah, you need four pieces to attack. He only has two. Or you can have an attack, but eventually it will run out if you have only two pieces attacking. So... What a way to ring in the new year, eh? I mean, it's a little late, but still. Let's celebrate what we got. Alright, he's going to attack my pawn. Which I have defended once. Um... I want... I wish I had some stronger way to refute that than just taking the silver. But taking the silver does refute it, so there's no need to get fancy. Free silver. I'm just, just nervous that, like, if I messed this up, this bishop would promote. But I've not yet messed this up. So he's got a pawn in hand, which he could drop. Um, 
I could promote my rook, but that would give away a lot of my advantage. My entire advantage would evaporate. Um, let's chase this bishop. He can't drop a pawn anywhere except on the knight's head, and if he drops there, my silver can take it immediately. Um, right, so he's trying to do something... He's trying to evade my silver. A silver and a knight or a bishop can chase each other around quite a bit, but um, I just did this to gain a tempo. So he can go back, as he does, and uh, then we block the threat. And the threat's neutralized, and he can concede now. I'd love to have promoted my rook, but it's just not necessary. All right. I don't know any castles for this shape. Um... Gofun. <laughs> I shouldn't know any castles for this shape. Yeah, I was going to say that, but it felt mean. But having my audience say it, it doesn't feel quite as mean. Um, so, well, that's good to know. All right, does this count as fourth foul rook? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. I do have to be careful about the time. Hmm. There's no need for me to be aggressive here. Not while my king is slightly exposed. I do want to castle just slightly more before I launch a very strong attack. So, um, this should be fine. Yeah, I debated, like, maybe taking this pawn would be enough. But no, let's just step back. I mean, what's he gonna do? These pawns block his bishop, so... Um, he could drop a pawn here unless I do that. And let's just castle.
Play nice, calm game of shogi. Where we're up a bazillion points of material. And we can attack at our leisure. Yeah, he's going for the flag, so I'm speeding up a bit. I was just very careful, because silver drops in this position could wreck my entire situation. So I want to make sure not to mess this up. Um, but yeah, now that we've calmed things down a bit, um, I don't have to panic at all. I'm still concerned that stuff might drop around the head of my king, so I still want to bring it over. I still want to connect my golds, but that's going to be it. Um, let's bring the gold over. Alright. Um, it's another free tempo. All right, he gives me the silver. I didn't think he would be so generous. Oh, okay, so he does get a knight for it. That's that makes at least a little bit of sense. Um, I could have taken the pawn. Nothing's defending the pawn. Okay, I made my rook a target accidentally. It's fine. But these are the sorts of mistakes that add up over time. But also, like, this is a nice little attack we have here, but this silver should be over one, having taken the pawn. Well, actually, over here, it protects against this knight. So he has to use the other knight if he wants to attack here. And if he does, then there's... He's out of attacking pieces, so... Um, yeah, this silver move is actually brilliant in a subtle way. So, yeah, we're still playing without their silver in the corner. Um, Alright, that's another free pawn, but uh, no, he drops a piece here. It's not really free. Um, so we're going to stick with the plan, which is just drop a silver here, win the gold, win the bishop, win the king, promote the rook. So we've got a gold in hand, which we can drop right next to the bishop. Um, or we could just take the bishop. Let's check. And then we can take the rook, or take the knight. Um, and that's check. And, you know, we got a lot of checks here. To check is to chase. Oh, where's my mate? Let's promote the bishop. Okay, which of these Easy. lovely... Oh, yep. We are time constrained. Um, wait. Uh, this is a heavier uh, defensive piece. Yeah, this is the piece we need to defend our king. I mean, maybe it's also the attacking piece we need. The rook here is the other attacking piece we need, and I've not used it yet. Um... 
1分30秒。I hope I've not messed up. That could be embarrassing. It is embarrassing, but it could be more embarrassing if I get mated here. I should have moved this gold up at some point. I don't need this in defense. Um, oh, that's clever. Whatever, I still survive this. Doesn't matter. It's ugly as hell, but um, I do survive this. And my pieces are in hand, and my king can run up the board. So that's what's happening next. Yeah, an early escape would have been easier than this escape. Although this one's still pretty easy. Yeah, I keep forgetting how easy, like, against an open board, escaping the king can be pretty straightforward. Uh, he has one silver in hand, so that's the only thing I have to fear when I'm trying to escape here. So that silver could fork my king and bishop, if I'm not careful. So the one score I have to avoid is here, where a silver drop could actually achieve that fork. Yeah, here, he, to do this fork, he'd have to drop the silver, where I can take it with either piece. And we win. Better luck next time. I usually say good game, but well, that was an interesting game. I admire the spirit, but something that wasn't quite there. Good luck. <laughs> All right, I want to try to play this correctly for once. Maybe. Oh, uh, shit. I blocked my bishop. That's not the correct way to play this. Um, hmm. That is not the correct way to play this. All right. Uh, we need to improvise. Maybe move the gold. I don't know. This is precarious already. Um, I Well, if silvers get exchanged, this is ugly. Um, let's get the king out of here. My rook is still prone. have to resist this. That move makes no sense because their silver is over here. Well, no, that move stops my bishop from moving. Um, 
Not that I need to move there anyway. No, this is incorrect. Um, all right, we've misplayed, but I think this will be okay. Let's tuck the king away to safety. Um, also, let's stop stupid things from happening, forking my golden rook. Of course, now he blocks the bishop. Um, so I was debating pushing the center pawn here, and now that it's triply under fire, why not? Let's see where this ends up. This is probably a terrible idea. I've been here before, but I am too curious. That may... what? How? Okay. Um, that's legal. Um, what is this? What does this mean? Hmm. Okay, we'll cover our back rank and pretend we got here through some kind of normal move order. Um, We'll take a look at some of that later. Yeah, I'm just stunned to see the silver directly in front of the bishop. So if I bring my bishop back, they use their bishop to strike it, so I have to hit this way. Okay, this is some, as you said, seriously strange theory. Um, that can't be theory. If that's theory, I don't know how this game works. Um, Maybe I should have waited for Rook Takes Pawn to occur. But this just doesn't look right.
So they're going to push the center pawn. I could drop a pawn to resist, or I could start chasing their material right away. A resignation. Truly, this game is full of surprises, but thank you for the game. Okay. Uh, we'll take it. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, this would be an interesting game for me to bring to Shogi Harbor for whenever the next Kifu review is. Because I do not understand. I am very much at a loss for understanding this game. Um, and it's possible that this might not be the most popular opening and might not make sense in quite a few respects. But it would be very interesting to hear her thoughts on the subject. So I'll have to bring this game up for that kind of review. I am not equipped to review this. Um, yeah, in Shosoku, Static Rook just wants to control the 5-5 five five square. Interesting theory. Yeah, I assume... Okay, so we'll read up sometime about Chosoku. Um, probably not during this game analysis, but we'll do so a bit later. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting shape. Yeah, we got we had some tactics. They advanced their rook. I promote my bishop. I think they just missed this altogether. Like there was no need to capture the pawn immediately. Their threat of advancing the pawn in the center is very strong and possibly mighty. Well, if they push it right now, I can drop a pawn between the rook and their pawn. But then they could drop a piece here, and things could get crazy. But more likely, I'm just vacuuming up all their or vacuuming up the silver in a night and stuff so maybe the resignation is warranted i don't know it's very sharp yeah climbing well he took a pawn here the pawn was maybe preventing him from pushing his 5-5 pawn forward but if the idea of chosoku is to control 5-5 he's actually succeeded at that um so he has to have a secondary aim here. Like, dropping a lance right in front of the pawn could be interesting, because I can't drop a pawn in response to that. Maybe that was the right way to go here. Um, yeah, the I assume such, because he resigned. And because I don't see a constructive plan, other than pushing the central pawn, which looks messy at best, and losing at worst. Um... There was really no need to take this right away. Because uh, I'm not going to drop a pawn in front of it. And if I drop a lance in front of it, they can just move the rook away. And eventually figure out how to do something somewhere. Um, so I think where I got lucky here was uh, right here. He doesn't have to take this. He can just drop the pawn right in front of my lance. And then Lance takes, Lance takes, and I pawn drop in front of their Lance, and this makes it harder for my pawn, uh, bishop to advance. He could slow my bishop down for one turn, and that might give him the turn he needs to munch the pawn and start racing here. Um, but yeah, interesting game. Uh, so, well played, Mixan. Exciting, uh, I'm sure we'll both have a lot of things to learn from it. Um, but yeah, I look forward to Shogi Harbor just roasting me for all the things I messed up here, because as good as this game was, there must have been some errors. You don't finish a game of Shogi in, uh, uh, 50 moves most of the time. For a game to finish so quickly, either one player made a bunch of catastrophic errors, or both players made some critical errors, and I don't think I'm free of error here. So, um, interesting games today. Yeah, it's very cool.